Hi, this is an introduction to Automaton Preferences and Licensing. First thing to remember about Automaton is it's available in two forms. Firstly, as a single standalone program that includes all the features of AutoClips, AutoFiler, AutoNotes and AutoTyper as one program, and also the individual programs. To a large extent it's a matter of personal preference which way we want to run them. First let's try the individual program. And we'll open the preferences. Here are our config files. The benefit of having them listed here is it allows us to move them to a different location if we want. For example, we could have our config files in our iDisk, which allows them to share them between different computers, or we could have them in a location where we can share them between different users. Or we could also have multiple setups, one set up for work and another for home, for example, and maybe we only want to share one of them. To edit one of our configs, we double click it. For example, here's our autofiler setup, here's our autotyper setup. Here's where we set up where we want our updates, if we want to get them automatically or not. Here's where we enter our licenses. There are two kinds of automaton license. First there's the regular automaton license that allows us to run automaton as a single program and or the individual programs. There's also the auto license which allows us to run just one of the individual programs which is more inexpensive to buy and if we own four of those it's equivalent to having the automaton license. So we can enter four licenses in here and get the same benefits as running automaton as a single license. Here's where we can set our preferences for dock icon, icons and menu bars. By default, Automaton has a dock icon and the status bar menu, and of course the regular Mac menu. All these menus contain the same items. We can see the menu items related specifically to notes are here, clips, typer, and filer. You can also find them here under view and also in the dock icon. We can disable either the dock icon or the status bar menu according to preference. Let's disable the status bar menu. It's disappeared. Here's where we set if Automaton runs when we log in. This is recommended because most of Automaton's features require it to be running in the background. Let's now try running it as four individual programs, Autoclips, Autofiler, Autonotes and Autotyper. As you can see we now have four dock entries, four status bar entries. Of course we can disable either the dock or the status bar as we've seen before. Anyway, that's a basic introduction to automaton preferences. Thanks for watching.